Earl. Are you taking a nap, little buddy? Hello, Earl. Say hi to the say hi to YouTube. He's like, I don't care. I just want to take a nap. See, cats know what life is all about. They like to eat and they like to take naps. Can you blame them? Hi guys, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Cleveland town. It's actually warmed up a little bit. I think it's supposed to be 50 degrees today. Uh, James and I are going to go out and get some last minute gifts for some people. And I, I'm gonna go get a haircut. I'm not gonna chop all the hair off, but I wanna get it cut in layers and just get it trimmed a little bit. So I think if there's not too long of a wait, and I know that's kind of unrealistic because it's like right before Christmas, but if they're not super busy, I will wait and uh, get a haircut. If not, maybe I'll just go do it another day. But just going to go out and enjoy the sun a little bit this afternoon when we go uh, run our errands. And uh, we'll do like the eBay stuff later. Probably tonight, have some coffee, do our eBay listings. So happy list miss <laughs> to you eBayer people out there. Mary, yeah, Mary list miss, says James over there. <laughs> Hey there guys, I have more sales I wanted to show you. These are some things I sold over the weekend. I did run a 20% off sale in my eBay store. Sadly, I don't have any Poshmark or Mercari sales to report. Uh, like I said, eBay is usually my bestie and uh, Poshmark is second place, Mercari is third. I don't put as many items on those other platforms and um, I don't invest as much time into it but I do use them just in case that they make a nice backup. So these are pants that sold for $6.30. These came out of the Goodwill bins. The brand is Jules and Leopold. They're size large, like ladies stretchy uh, pants with little zipper pockets here. $6.30, so nothing real crazy. If I had to buy them again, I wouldn't, but hey, it's a sale. Hotter shoes. So. It's Hotter brand and they're leather slip-on shoes. These look brand new and I think I picked these up at a Goodwill bin. I really don't remember but they're made in England. And what size were those? Let's see what size, what size? Size 10 in ladies. So these sold for $28.80. I had them on sale and they're pretty much brand new without the box. So. I think the customer is going to be really happy with those. These next shoes, they have a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but they're still pretty good. They're suede little booties and they're size six. The brand is Lucky Brand. These sold for $15.50 on sale. I think I used to have them for around $20. So not bad for Lucky Brand. Now these are really cool. So these were the shoes that James found in the trash. Yeah, these were trash shoes. And they're Allen Edmonds. Allen Edmonds is a really good brand, even second hand. People look for them because brand new, these are like 200, 300 or more uh, dollar shoes. And these are a men's, I think size 10 and a half. A little bit of wear on the bottoms, but these are good shoes where you could take them to a cobbler, have them redone, have them fixed up if you wanted to. These sold for $47.99. Originally, I had them for $59.99, but 
ran a sale and they did sell within a couple days. This is a Marin Metallic Powder. It's um, special effects makeup for like costumes or things like that. And this I bought from Marks for I want to say around 99 cents. It sold for seven something shipped. So nothing big, but it's easy to ship. It's like another small thing. This is a Budweiser belt buckle. This sold for six, I want to say around six bucks. And picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale over the summertime. This is a sterling silver ring with a Peridot stone and a CZ stone. Oh, two CZ stones. Cubic zirconia. And this sold for $11.20. I had it up for around... Uh, I had it for more, but lowered the price on it and finally it sold. And it's, it's lightweight. It's a cute ring, but the silver, I don't think there's a lot there. But it's really cute. $11.20. And then this is a Little Kittle doll, but it's a Little Kittle, they call it Little Kittle Clone, where it's not Mattel branded, it's from the 60s. It's one of those like bootleg, generic, made in Hong Kong dolls. I, this sold for around $10. So not a whole lot, but those are my sales for right now. I did list some more items, and I do have some stuff on sale, and I know it's close to Christmas, so I think a lot of people that were buying Christmas gifts are probably done buying all their stuff. And I think any sales that come after that will be people buying like shoes or clothing out of necessity or maybe spending gift cards or money they received as a gift. So that's all I have for right now. I have to go to the shop and do some more cleaning and I need to go donate some more stuff. And I will give you guys an update on the Dungeon of Dreams, our eBay dungeon, our eBay basement. Uh, we're going to do a complete overhaul on this. We're going to take all this stuff out. We're going to get probably get a couple storage units. And we're going to get the flooring in here all redone. They're going to put new flooring in. And once that's done, we're going to get a better inventory system where each bin will be numbered or lettered. We'll have the... Um, number or letter of the bin in the item description so when an item sells i could just go see where it is straight away right away and be done with it instead of searching for stuff and i really should have done that inventory system a long time ago so this is long overdue and i know it's very messy down here i know and you guys watching out there are probably like geez they live like pigs no, this isn't how the rest of the house looks, I swear. Um, it's just how our workspace is, and we need a better work environment for sure. Um, replacing the flooring is long overdue. Uh, when we first moved in here, we were like, yeah, we need to do something about the basement floor. And, you know, four years go by, and you procrastinate and stuff happens. So now we're talking about um, renovate, you know, fixing up the basement, making it nicer, and finally, so I'm, I'm actually happy about it, even though it's going to be a lot of work. I'm happy we're finally going to get this stuff done. I'm okay, guys, um, back here at the shop, we did more cleaning, so I emptied out. I emptied out each window and I vacuumed and took all the cobwebs out of the front windows. So vacuumed that side too, swept up. And then in the corners here, I uh, vacuumed, swept out any dust. Same with that. And then I, there was some broken glass over here we cleaned up. And we have still uh, more stuff to donate. I think this whole pile we're going to probably just donate or put on the curb for, for scrappers to grab. Kick it to the curb. Kick it to the curb. And then some of this stuff, we're still kind of like, meh, maybe we could keep that. Um, so, meh. And then there's a few, a few more things that we want to try to give away to friends. Um, I have an antique sewing machine that I'm holding for a friend until next week. Possibly this hutch and that phonograph. What, no 
This table, it's, it's, a, it's an antique examination table from 1920s, 1930s. I do have it listed on eBay for local pickup only because there's no way I could ship that. Um, and I have some people that are interested in it, but no bites. So unfortunately, if it does not sell, I'm going to have to figure out my next plan of action because I don't have any more room. Apparently not. We have no more room. That's it. <coughs> and we cleaned out uh, this back corner here, vacuumed it out. I had the virus get them. Uh-oh. We took a lot of stuff out of the, the little back room here. Some shelving and some some junky stuff. This we'll probably keep for the garage. Um, that shelf I still need to take down. But this is what's going on here. This needs vacuumed and, and cleaned up once we pick everything up out of here. Um, this carpeting's kind of gross. When, whenever they were working on the roof in the summertime, whoever was doing it left all this tar here. So then he stepped in tar by accident and it got on the carpeting. So no fun. But we'll just clean things up the best we can. And uh, we'll, I wanna get, I wanna make sure everything's turned in and ready probably within the next two weeks. Yeah, probably next two weeks. That is my goal for the new year to just be done with this. Um, we have another month, but, oh, I didn't know you had a plumber, but I'll cut that part. So working, 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 always working. So sometimes I source on other online apps. Um, this whole set, this lot of Barbie stuff I found on Poshmark and, uh, they were taking offers. And they accepted my offer of $65 plus shipping. So I think it was like 70 something with shipping. But it's still pretty good. Uh, let me show you what I found here. So this opens up. This is a 19... Oops, got to hold the light up. This is a 1960s... Oh, I won't... Oops. There we go. This is a 1960s, um, it says 1968 Barbie doll case. Um, the case is a little dinged up and, and when I do sell the cases online, there may be 15, 20 bucks, but it's what's in the case that's awesome. So we're gonna open this up and this is way cool. Let me see if I can get the light on this stuff here. Uh, some of this I listed last night. Some of it I'm still researching. Um, so this is a green Barbie jacket and even some of the clothing pieces like that's I put for $19.99 with free shipping. This is a TNT. The TNT stands for twist and turn. That's a twist and turn Barbie doll from the 1960s. She was like the first one to uh, have a twist waist. And I have her right now, I think it's $79.99. If her outfit were in better condition, and if her hair was styled with like the original little hair bows, she'd be like $160. If she had the original box, that could be a $400, $500 doll. It all depends on condition. And some of these 1960s, 1970s, and like the, the very first Barbies are super sought after. So the mod era, had a lot of uh, neon orange, neon greens, you know, bright colors. Kind of like if, if you thought of the movie Austin Powers, if you see Barbie dolls dressed like they belong in the Austin Powers movie, um, those are collectible. And if you see these old school, these old tags, I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but if you see that old tag, this one is also a Barbie doll, but she has short hair. And uh, she is Hair Flare, Hair Flare Barbie. And she came originally with like hair pieces and wigs you could put on her. And that's why they gave her a short hairdo. Now this dolly, um, she has an issue with her leg, but it looks like that could easily be glued back together. I did clean her legs. I did comb out the hair. Um, I have her listed at $32 with the, with the dress she's wearing. This outfit is super rare. This is a Francie doll outfit. Francie was one of Barbie's friends. Um, I think this one's Francie in here. 
So here, this is a Francie doll. She's kind of in between Skipper and Barbie. And um, she wears different clothes. So this is a Francie outfit. Just for this outfit, I have it at $99 with free shipping because it's so hard to find. So these clothes are really, really good. And I think that this one doll could pay for this whole Barbie lot. And then anything else I think is going to be profit. Um, Francie, I need to research her a little bit more. And then this doll here, this is Barbie's friend PJ. PJ, I guess, originally had pigtails, but this is a twist and turn body, meaning that the waist moves like that. You could twist it. But I guess the head is a different head. This goes to a talking PJ. So she's kind of like a Frankenstein doll and then her hair was cut. So this one I'll probably end up keeping because I don't think she's going to be as valuable as the others. So I could probably clean her up and just use her to model the clothes. So I'm really happy with this. Um, whether it's Barbie, G.I. Joe, video games, um, you name it. These retro toys people look for. People love them. He-Man, She-Ra, TMNT. You know, it's really cool stuff, and I love looking for this type of thing, going on these other websites, just seeing. Sometimes people will have it at, at garage sale pricing, just wanting to get rid of stuff. And, uh, you know, they don't see a value in it, but we do. And, and that's what matters. The collectors see a value, and the resellers see value. And sometimes it's the little things, like a Barbie doll, that can mean a lot. Well, hey guys! Got my herded, and uh, there it is. It's uh, kind of fluffy right now, but yeah, it's like a shaggy haircut, cut in layers. So I'm really happy they were able to cut the hair. And uh, just in time for Christmas, it's Christmas Eve right now. We're getting some stuff put together here at home. Gonna see some friends later. Gonna go see my mom tomorrow. So it'll be nice. And hopefully you guys out there have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. A happy new year. Mwah! Thanks for watching.